Nadia, freaking keep grabbing this hose. Bad crocodile. Nadia, you been naughty. Whoa. No, Jimmy! Beautiful dragon-like tail. Let's get Stevie. Woo! Baby Cobra, he's just putting up looking big. Putting up. Oh my god, he is not having it set. Monstrous size, Mamba. Look at that! Oh, she never shows off her mouth. Whoa! Literally translates to silent death, but she's not too bad. I'm trying to do a tour in Nadia. Frickin' keeps grabbing this hose. Bad crocodile. Come on. She keeps grabbing this hose because she thinks it's like a snake or something. She's trying to eat it. I just gotta get this stick in her mouth a little bit to try and get this hose out because we need to use the hose for something else now so she's not destroying it. Literally, out of all the crocodiles at this facility, this is the only crocodile that destroys hoses. I'm sorry, guys. They, <laughs> That's fun. they came work. all the way from the UK yeah. just to get a tour. And now we're dealing with this naughty crocodile. Can you let go? Come on. Come on, I gotta be careful because if she does let go, she won't bite the crap out of me. Rub her sensory organs around her face with a stick. Not trying to hurt her, just no. No, you get back over here, darling. No, no, you ain't gonna take my gun holes, baby. Crocodiles can have literally over 5,000 pounds per square inch pressure. This size, not so much, but still enough to clamp on that water hose right there. What do you guys think I should do? It just cuts it off. <laughs> just cut it off. <laughs> Throw a crumpet at it. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. Come on, baby. Let go. One more readjust and I can get it out. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, come on. It's oh! Just trying to rub the side of her face because she's got all these little sensory organs that detect pressure, so hopefully that won't entice her to let go. She's <laughs> not letting go. Crocodiles, <laughs> they bite. <laughs> Oh no, not death row, come on. Let go, you naughty crocodile. I just don't want her to chew any pieces off and swallow them. Yeah, definitely. All right. Let's see what we can do. Come on. Let go, you naughty crocodile. Pull the hose. Oh. All right. I gotta put her back in safely. Woo! Nadia, you've been naughty. Whoa! Oh, oh, you naughty well crocodile. Well Sorry, guys, back to the tour. Let's get this hose out. <laughs> Only the eighth freaking hose I've had to go through with this crocodile. <laughs> You're naughty. Give me my sweet little babies. Give me some love. Give me some love. Come on. Give me a kiss. Get, what? Give me a kiss. You give me a kiss. Come here. Kiss. Kiss me. Mm, my sweet boy. Almost big enough to ride. <laughs> Maybe with the combination of the two of them, that would make up enough power to lift me. My two, my two camel boys. I said my two camel boys. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my sweet dromedary camels. I love these guys. My big dogs. That's what they are. They're just big old dogs. What are you doing, Camille? What are you doing? Ah! Don't bite. Don't bite, Camille. Hey, respect me. Respect me. Stop. Respect me. <laughs> You're so cute. I love these guys. My opportunistic grazing giraffe creatures. No, Jimmy! Look at these beautiful creatures as they graze on any plant life within the circumference of their face. Anakin is getting huge! Oh my good! Look at the belly on this boy. He's been having too many, too many uh, shrimp po boys that they was hey down in the South of Louisiana swamp region. Look at that beautiful saltwater crocodile, the biggest reptile on the planet. 
He's just a wee little baby like little Timmy right here. Isn't that right, Timmy? What a little darling bugger. I can't wait to see Anakin full grown. They never stop growing throughout their lifetime. And on average, saltwater crocodiles get around 15, 16 feet long, with the record being over 20 feet long. He is going to be a monstrous crocodilian. Look at that fat little belly right there. Ooh, little fat belly, he's getting nice and big. That beautiful dragon-like tail. Look at the scutes on his tail. He is becoming such a beast. And he's getting that nice, bumpy, thick, solid, saltwater crocodile head. He is going to be a monstrous reptile. A great mascot for the species, saltwater crocodile. Anakin, my boy. All right, beautiful people. It's cooking outside. We're getting record heat waves out here. So let's go inside the snake house where it's a little bit cooler and take care of some baby cobras. Woo! I got to tell you what, it's hotter than a, than a shrimp pole boy with, with, some, with, some, with some chicken curry powder on the top with a little bit of magma and a pepper because right now I'm sweat, I'm sweat, I'm sweat, I'm sweat, I'm sweat, I'm, I'm hot! Damn! But I am so hot right now, we might as well deal with some hot, aka venomous reptiles. So we got the Fertilance right here, little Jose from Central America, also known as Tarsio Pelo, the most responsible for bites in Central and South America. This guy just shed, and he's getting bigger and bigger, and the scales are so rough, so rough now. They're nice and keeled. Look at that beautiful viper. This guy is a beast. One day he's gonna be seven, eight feet long with a necrotic bite, but I love him so much. And just like the way he's hot, he's real hot, spicy, like a meatball. What was that? Anyways, I'm so hot right now, I can't even think, but this is a good time to handle deadly reptiles. Now let me just take out this shed skin right here. Ooh, we actually got a whole shed skin from Jose. Look at that, one whole Fertilance shed. I'm gonna keep that uh, for the garbage. <laughs> Because it's not good enough for the fans. Only the best for the fans. So it's a little bit broken. All right, I'm going to get some fresh water and get these spicy meatballs out of the enclosure so we can keep it nice and clean. And I'll see you guys in a split. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, that was really scary that time. Oh, spicy meatballs! Oh, oh. ah! All right, beautiful people. Let's get Jose back. Let's get him out nice and easy. And he seems to be nice and calm today. He's just very food motivated, which makes him very dangerous. Wow, he is such a badass snake. Gotta get back to Central America eventually and go hunting for these beautiful snakes back in their natural habitat. Oh, beautiful velvet coloration going down the sides of its body. That's why they call it Tosio Pelo, baby. It means velvet coloration. And let's get this glass right back to where it belongs. Get that nice and tight and put a lock on that thing. And that's secure, baby. Ain't no venomous reptile escaping by you in your sleep. <laughs> let's move on to the world's deadliest snake, the inland taipan. All right, let's get Stevie. Ooh, what's up, Stevie? Woo, Stevie, what are you doing? Look at him, beautiful inland taipan, the world's most venomous snake drop for dropping. He's beautiful, look at those colors. He is a little all over the place. He was a little worm when I first got him. Now he's getting some size to him. Still pretty small, but once he's around five foot long, it'll be much safer to handle him. You just saw he just pooped because that's a deterrent for a predator. He doesn't want to bite me. He'd rather just poop on me to get me to go away. So let's get this little inland tie pan right into the can. Nice and, ooh, oh my goodness. He whipped up real quick. Let's get right into there. Inland tie pan, drop for drop, the most toxic snake on the planet. How bad is that? And his must smells like Australia. It smells like a meat pie. <laughs> that's not funny, why am I saying this? All right, now we're gonna put Stevie back. He's got a nice clean exhibit. Little Stevie's getting nice and big and getting real wiry. Like, he is so wiry the last couple times I've dealt with him. Gotta be so careful, because he can whip back up on, on his own body and bite you really quick. But look at that world's most toxic snake out there, and he's just pooping all over my hands. Look at that little Stevie. I'm gonna put him back, because he's so wiry, he's not having a good time, and we don't wanna stress him out, because we love Stevie, and he's a great mascot for the inland Taipan. Locked and secured, so let's take care of Meatball. He's just hanging out, looking real thick. Thicker than a snicker, baby. Look at that cute little face. What are you doing, boy? Why don't you come out and play? Damn, look at you. Did you like quadruple in size, dude? He did just shed, so he's got a new paint job. He looks beautiful. Look at this beautiful red belly, the Australian Colette snake. And the top 15 most venomous on the planet. And I love him. I've had him for years now. And he's pretty placid. He's not too bad. These snakes are typically not too defensive unless you get them straight out of the wild. 
But look at him, beautiful, thick, black snake head, lots of venom, not as toxic as a lot of other Australian snakes, but definitely toxic enough to be in the top 15 most venomous on the planet. And that's the whole thing, most Australian snakes are venomous. The biggest family of snakes or reptiles in Australia is actually the front fixed fanged alapid family. So there are more front fixed fanged alapid snakes than non-venomous snakes in Australia, which is just wild to think about. It's the land of the snakes, land of the lizards, and land of the flies. All right, we're gonna put him right into the holding receptacle. Let him sit in there for a second. My beautiful little meatball. Let's see, we got a fresh shed right here. Let's see how that looks. Nice and big, look at that, right on the croc skull. Look at that. Oops. <laughs> I broke it, uh, oops, uh, oops. All right, nice clean enclosure. Let's get our meatballer back to where he belongs. Use that snake hook to be nice and safe. What's going on, my dude? Let's get him out. My sweet boy, meatball. Look at that, I love that belly. What a cool snake, all red. But to be very respected, because if he bit you and you survived his bite, it could take away your sense of smell and taste for the rest of your life. But that's if you survive. This venom is so powerful. You can't make a mistake with a Colette snake. Look at that meatball. I'm so proud of him. He was a little baby when I got him, just about two feet long. Now he's like six feet. What a beast! Meatball, say hello to the beautiful people. Oh, you want to bite my camera guy? You're so cute. But dangerous and very respectable. So meatball, please get inside your enclosure. We have to secure you. There we go. Put a lock on that thing. Nice and secure. Chinese sharp nosed viper. You guys know how this snake is. Very defensive and very potent when it comes to its venom. And this guy just pooped all over the place. So let's get him out. Nice and easy. Woo! Dinochistrodon acutus, the Chinese sharp nosed viper. A very defensive snake. One that you cannot get comfortable around because they will pop you quick. And they have a crazy strike. But they can go over their own body almost. Look at that. Beautiful snake. Let me see if I can get them out a little more. Ooh, look at that. Is that not a beast of a viper? Look at that face. Let me just readjust again. Crazy, sharp tip to that nose. And look, he's wagging his tail like crazy. See his tail? It goes off all the time as a defense to let me know he's had enough. And he's good size. He's like over four feet long. We're gonna get him right into the can. Keep him calm while he's calm. Nice and secure. That's probably the chillest he's ever been while taking him out. He's a very biting snake. And as you can see right here, he pooped all over the glass. Oh, oh, this is bad. Oh no, this is bad. This is so gross. Ah. Oh, that's a spicy meat. Nice clean enclosure. We can put this Chinese sharp nose viper back, AKA Pinocchio, my good friend from the oh, hoo, hoo, from the Southeast Asian end. But oh my God, he is not having it still. Relax, Pinocchio. He is such a beautiful snake. Look at that animal. He is so cranky. Ooh, look how he postures up almost like a cobra. And he's got these huge heat seeking pits right in front of his face right there. So he can see the thermal image of like a rat with no problem. All right, dude, nice and easy. Nice and easy. We're gonna get you right back into the enclosure. I wish you guys saw him striking. He literally struck like three times when I was opening up the can. He is such a gnarly snake. Dude, look at him, he's such a beast. All right, locked and secure. Good to go. All right, Alice in the Black Mamba. She's got poop all over the place. Time to give her a good cleaning and some fresh water. She is not messing around today. So let's see how she is. Just gonna gently get her out. Nice and easy, baby. Nice and easy. Look at that beautiful mom. And she ate so much food the other day, but you can see she looks skinny. She goes through that food like it's nothing. They have a super fast metabolism like most alapids. Look at that. What a beast of a black mamba. Gorgeous coffin shaped head, monstrous sized mamba deserves nothing but respect. This is the most dangerous snake on the planet to handle, and that's because they are so athletic, so large, and they're in the top 20 most venomous on the planet. Let's get her right into there. Look at that beautiful mamba. Pretty easy to get her into a can versus like a wild caught black mamba, or mambas in any other situation. Look at this, this is why I needed to get her cage clean real bad. Not just the poop everywhere, but in the water. That is disgusting. Oh! 
That's a spicy meatball soup, jambalaya from the dark swamps of Florida. Oh, you look nice today. All right, beautiful people, we got Allison's cage nice and taken care of, so let's put her back in her enclosure. She's just hanging out at the bottom, chilling. Good thing that she's okay with going into the cans, because typically black mambas are very difficult to deal with when it comes to putting them into holding receptacles like this. There you go, look at that. Woo! Beast! Love this black mamba. It's too bad she's not chill enough for me to give her a kiss, because she is the most beautiful black mamba I have seen here in America. And she's actually a little upset. I can hear her puffing up a little bit. So let's just guide her to the enclosure. Uh-oh, that's not the enclosure. There we go. Show her that little space. Come on, mama. Just gotta show her right where she needs to go. Nice and easy, mama. There we go. That's a good snake. What, what are you doing? Go back in there. Beautiful black mamba. <laughs> Look at this. I got her tail right here. What a Beast! All right, let me get this nice and secure. Let's put a lock on that baby. Ooh, she's all over the place. Wow, she's wild. That's a big black mamba. Not too common to see these guys in zoos here in America because they're very difficult to work with. And most people don't want the liability of working with them because you're gonna have to pay somebody to clean their cage. And not a lot of people can clean cages of black mambas. Ooh, oh, look at that. Look at the black interior. Look, look, look. Look at that. Oh, she never shows off her mouth. Whoa! That's pretty cool. Let's not stress her out. Let's leave her alone. But that's why they call them black mamas. The interior of their mouth, not the scalation of their skin. I know a lot of you guys have been asking where this blah, 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 All right, let's take out my female Bushmaster. Gotta be real careful because she has a very dangerous feeding response. She'll come out like a heat-seeking missile and she literally has heat-seeking pits. So she's like a missile that comes shooting out at you looking for a warm-bodied mammal to sink her fangs into. This is my sweet girl, La Jesus Muda, the Bushmaster. Now I've had this snake since she was a little hatchling and she's roughly about four or five years old now growing little by little. And this is my favorite viper on the planet. Literally an 85 to 95% fatality rate if you are bitten by the Bushmaster. Scientific name like Jesus Muda literally translates to silent death. But she's not too bad and I respect her and I can read her body language and get away with this kind of handling. Never do what I do. <sighs> Can't wait to see one of these in the wild. All right, we're gonna put her right into the holding receptacle. My big girl. Goodness gracious, do you guys hear that? You guys hear that screaming right now? Follow me, it's spicy, come on, follow me. What? What, Timmy? What, Timmy? What do you have to tell me that's so important while I'm filming an episode? Oh, it must be important, he's coming very fast. What, Timmy? What do you gotta tell me? What do you mean? Oh, oh, he says, don't forget to use the freshest heat tool for the snakes. Isn't that right? Now he's going to lick his penis. All right, let's go back to cleaning. Ah, we have a nice clean enclosure for the ba 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 Yeah, you didn't see that coming, Bushmaster, bro. Look at her, she's creeping and crawling right up the side. Ooh, she got a little spooked. We do not want to upset her. I've only seen her really upset once when we filmed for Clint's Reptiles and she was pissed. So I don't want to make a mistake. Okay. Woo, got to spin her around. She was coming real quick. But look at her. Beautiful. Like Jesus Muda, the Bushmaster. My favorite viper on the planet. What a gem of the forest. All right, let's get her right into her enclosure. No mistakes with her. Get her right into there. Beautiful baby girl. Now we're just gonna close this up, put a lock on it, nice and secure. Now let's go see old Big Bertha's little babies right over here. We gotta clean a whole bunch of them. Woohoo! Look at all this! We got a one, a two, a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty monocled cobras. Drop for drop, 
more toxic than a king cobra. Come close for the intense moments. And if one of these single snakes give a, a quarter of a rain droplet, then it's enough to shut down your body and your friend's body and your friend's friend's body and maybe even your friend's friend's dog, Chi Chi the Chihuahua. Dead. Look at this little marvelous kind of, oh, look how beautiful the hood is on this one. So they're all a little bit different. This one's got an amazing, uh, almost like granite coloration. Let's see if it'll hood up for us. You gonna hood up? Let's take this little cobra out and see if we can get it to hood up for us. Ooh, hello. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at your cranky little cobra. Look at that. That is so cool, but very dangerous. If the snake wanted to bite, it could and it is very venomous at this size. So I'm gonna take it just like this. We're gonna put it into the holding receptacle, this little tank. We're gonna clean his enclosure. And we're gonna go through and clean everyone up, get a little spot clean, get fresh water. And <clears throat> I need to get the right tubs, but next thing I'm gonna be doing is taking the cage just like Allison's, and we're gonna get bigger totes with like leaves and plants and stuff to hide under. So these guys have more space and they're more comfy. And we're gonna stack them all up so you can really see them on tours. So that'd be real cool. By the way, ChandlersWildlife.com, book your tour, come see these snakes up close and personal. Ooh, a, little, a, bit, a little indigestion for all those spicy meatballs, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I'm not eating Ooh, one last little baby cobra. He's just hunting up, looking big. Look at that guy. He is getting big, oh my goodness. Beautiful monocled cobra. Perfect O on the back to represent the monocled cobra. And we're just gonna close this up. That's the last of the 20 snakes. We're just gonna put this little guy right back in there. We're gonna close this up like this. A little latch here, a little latch there to lock it up. And we're good to go. Just gotta sweep the floors and go take a nice shower and get out of this heat. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and... Most of all, follow your dreams. Stay passionate about what you love. And if anyone ever tries to get in your way, Smack him! You smack him down to the ground! And you stomp on him! And then you move on like it never happened because that's life. You gotta keep moving on and get over those humps in the road. Love you guys. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, follow your dreams. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>